Hey everyone, I'm in FIFA 22 and I want to show you how to play Champions League. If you've not done it before, it won't show on your root menu here. What you need to do is click play. So you should select there, go to quick play modes on the bottom left. And then when you're here, go to tournaments. When you're inside tournaments, you want to go over to UEFA Champions League. If you've done it before, you will see a load UEFA Champions League option there to continue your game. But if you're doing a new Champions League, you just press this one here. So I've moved up with my D-pad, press A because I'm on the Xbox and in I go. So the teams will be updated with the teams for uh, the last Champions League, I believe. So I think this is all correct. And there's a couple of different things you can do here. If you're not happy with any of these teams, you can either replace them manually. If you look down the bottom of your screen, you should see an option for replace team. For me, that's press Y. So I could do that and then I can pick a different team here. If I don't want to do that. I hit B to cancel or whatever the cancel is on your one. So down the bottom, you can see B for back. You'll see a different button if you're on a different platform. Um, so I could replace any of these teams or I can indeed randomize the entire lot by pressing the R stick button, so R3, um, and that would randomize all of the teams here. The other thing that you need to do here is pick a team or teams that you want to play as. So for example, if I want to pick and play as Liverpool, I simply use select down the bottom left hand side, it says A to select, but I can also play other teams as well. So I can say I want to be Dortmund and I want to also be Sevilla. So those three teams will be teams that I control when I actually play Champions League. When you're ready to go and you've done all of the options that you want, you can advance by using the menu button on the Xbox or if it's a different button for you, it should show down the bottom of the screen for you. When you come into the next screen, um, it will basically start loading the Champions League system that we're seeing here. You also get a nice little uh, movie, which I won't show, but um, we'll just create a new one here. So a new file, done, select, and there's the little intro sequence. Um, just a, a nice little sequence there that'll show up in the little Champions League um, logo there, as we can see. And then you come into the main area where you actually then play things. So remember that I set Dortmund as one of the teams that I'm going to control. So if I hit play the match, I would go straight into this. Just before you do that, though, you can also adjust things like your squad. So you can use RB or R1 if you're on the PlayStation to flick over to squad. And you can jump into the squad here. You can edit the team sheets, edit the players, etc. Um, but hopefully you know how to do that anyway. Um, if I just cancel out that with B, I can go back to the main central page here. I can also see the standings of the group that I'm in at the minute. So you can see we've got played and zero points. I can jump into this a bit more and see it in a bit more detail and see what the upcoming fixtures are. I can also go through the different groups and see them here. Um, so of course, as we progress, that will be updated. Also, top scorers will be updated as you go through this as well. And you can also set your settings here. So if we jump into here and press A, you can change your half length, the difficulty level, and all the other things that you can usually do in FIFA 22. That's it really from here. If you're ready to then play, you simply go to play match and you will play the next game. And then we'd be forwarding on to the other ones. I hope that was useful to you. If it was, thumbs up, please. Much appreciated. Any comments, welcome. If you like this sort of stuff, have a little look at the rest of my channel. I do all sorts of videos on FIFA 22 and I'll also be working on FIFA 23 when it comes out. So hit that subscribe button if you'd like to be kept up to date with my latest and greatest. Thanks so much.